I want you to picture this in your mind. Imagine that one kid in your class that does well on all his exams, gets all like A pluses, all in the 90s. He does super well. It doesn't even have to be a he, just anyone. They do super well on their exams. Really good. They put in the work, they study well, they listen in class, and they see the results, they succeed. Now imagine the other guy in your class. Maybe it's even you. You can't, you you don't listen in class, you don't study, you don't put in the work, you don't you don't do well in your exams, you don't do well in your assignments, you they're all late. Who do you think is more confident in their ability in school? Who do you think is more confident? Because I'll guarantee you'll answer the person that puts in the work, that does the that sees the results. That listens in class. And we need to realize this isn't just about school. Now, I want to put I want to put this out there. I'm not saying a oh, school you should focus in school like the school system's really great. Like I I I don't believe in school. I don't believe in the school system unless you unless you really like your purpose is like to to be a doctor. So you have to get a degree to like fulfill your mission, which is a few people, but if that's true then fine like focus in school, do your studies, but like if if you don't care about school, if that's not your mission, which most likely you haven't even found your mission, then I I don't believe in school. But back to the video. We need to realize that this person that does well in their exams, this person that puts in the work, why do you, why do you think that they are confident in their abilities? Why do you think they're so confident? Because they've put in the work, they've seen the results. And we knew we need to realize this is how it is for everywhere in life. Now this isn't a pretty answer that's gonna get me views or subscribers or or video retention. Audience retention. That's not this isn't the, the advice that's gonna get me some views or audience retention or subscribers or fucking or likes. This is the advice that's going to change your life. This is the advice that, that's practical, that actually works. And it's not the pretty answer. It's not the, the do this one exercise and you'll, you'll be confident immediately. Look, pretend I'm a girl with eye contact. I hate those motherfuckers. They are not, that's not practical advice. That's not useful. But it's the advice that'll get them views. It's the advice that's easy. The true advice that works is that you need to see results. You need to work hard on your goals. You need to set goals. You need to work at them. Because what gives you confidence is not these exercises. It's not these... these. It's not the results even. It's not even the results that give you the, the confidence. It's the work that you put in to get there. What gives you confidence is putting in the work. It's simple as that. But so many people overcomplicate it. Like, oh, you have to do this thing and then this thing and this, this thing. This is what you should focus on. It's like, fuck me. Don't, don't be focusing on your confidence. Like, if you look at me in the, like, some of my first few videos, you'll see I was fucking, like... I seriously had, like, very little confidence. I literally, like, <laughs> I literally had, like, a, a script up on my computer, and I was, like, reading it word for word. I looked like a fucking robot. I kept looking at the screen, and was like, what was that? What am I supposed to say? And I was like, like, I was, I literally sounded like a robot. You can go you know, we'll look at those videos. But I was, I didn't have the confidence in myself that I would be able to speak. I didn't have the confidence in myself that I'd be able to to give advice without writing it down an hour in advance. But look at me now. I've put in the work. And just because I haven't hit my goals, I've worked towards them. I Last year, I didn't even get close to my goals. On some of them, at least. I, I got close on some, but I, I didn't get a lot of my goals. But I'm, I've gained confidence from this. I've put in the work.
That's good. That that would give me confidence. You know why this person in your class is so confident in their ability at school? It's because they put in the work. They know they can. They're confident that they can because they've put in the work. It's such common sense. It's such simple advice. Yet it's barely given. Because it doesn't get views. So the truth is, you need to just put in the work. It's not the pretty answer. It's not the one that gets views. But it's the answer that will change your life. It's the answer that will actually make you confident. And you have the wrong mindset. You're focusing on confidence. You're focusing on trying to get more confidence. You're focusing on eye contact or whatever. Because you want to get girls. You want to have a better social life. You, you that's the wrong way to look at it. You need to you need to change your mindset on confidence. Because I didn't become confident now because I was researching how to become more confident. I didn't like I was just on monk mode. I was just working towards my goals and I still am. I'm like full monk mode right now. I'm just working. I am putting in the work. It is fuck my water bottle. It's like 9:30 right now. I woke up at 7.30. I went downstairs to do a cold shower. Like, full blast cold. Not like the, oh, like, start it at hot and then slowly turn it down. Full blast cold. Get the fuck in there. Wash myself. Get out. Full blast cold. I am on monk mode. I am putting in the work. And I have already... Hit my goal for the end of March. It is literally this, like the second day of February. And I hit my goal for the end of March. One of my goals. I'm putting in the work. And I'm confident. Because I, I'm, I'm not confident. I didn't do any sort of exercises. I didn't do any. I didn't even see results. It's not these results that made me confident. I was confident before I hit my goals. But I put in the work to hit those goals. When you put in the work, it's such common sense. But when you put in the work, you will just, it's just a, like confidence is simply just a byproduct of putting in the work. You don't, you shouldn't work towards being more confident. You should work towards your goals. You should work towards being more masculine. And then confidence is simply a byproduct of this. So work on your masculinity, not your confidence. Work on your goals, not your confidence. If you work on your masculinity and your goals and your purpose and your mission, basically that's what it is. Work on your masculinity. Become more masculine. Because working on your goals, purpose, and mission, that is what masculinity is, basically. So work on your masculinity. If you're a man, work on your masculinity. You will become more confident. And don't don't keep researching oh, how to become more confident. What one exercise I can do to become more confident. Stop doing research on confidence. Because most likely if you click this video, you, you, you are researching how to become more confident. You want to know how can I become more confident. Stop looking at it that way. Because you are a loser. I'm simply being honest. And this is, I'm not hating on you. I'm simp this is simply like, like, like tough love. You're a loser. You're fapping every day. You're playing video games. You're scrolling on YouTube shorts. Oh, it's better than TikTok. Shut the fuck up, bro. It's not. You're doing these bad habits. You're watching useless videos. And yet you wonder, why am I not confident? No shit you're not confident. Look at yourself. It's such common sense. Yet we want the pretty answer. We want the answer that's easy. But it's almost never is the right answer the easy answer. Sometimes it can be. But rarely is it the right answer. Rarely.
There are a few situations, but it's rare. Put in the work and you'll see results. <clears throat> Put in the work and you'll see confidence come. Read The Way of the Superior Man. There's, there's an online copy. I'll actually put the online copy in the description. Read The Way of the Superior Man. Become more masculine. Work towards your goals. Work towards your purpose. Find your purpose. Work towards your purpose. You will just simply become confident as a byproduct. Confidence is a byproduct of hard work. For men. For men. I'm not talking to women here. Women... Confidence is a byproduct of becoming more feminine. If you just read The Way of the Superior Man, this will help you. If you're a man, work towards your purpose, work towards your mission, work towards your goals, become more masculine, and you will become more confident. Don't work, don't work on confidence. Work on masculinity. Work on your goals. Because it's putting in the work that makes you confident. Have a good one, man. Peace out.